Hey Styles, welcome back to my channel. I'm Corey Styles. If you're new today, I will be doing the part two of Clayton State University. I guess it's the what you need to know. What about Clayton State? I forgot what I titled it. Hold on. Okay, I just checked and it was things to know about Clayton State University. So, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't watched the first um part one, if you haven't watched part one, go ahead and watch part one first. But and then come back to part two. So yes, this is part two of things to know about Clay and State. So I work, wrote down some other things that I left out in part one. Um, what do I want to cover? Visitation. So visitation at Clayton State. Okay, for Laker Hall, which is the freshman building. All what I'm telling you is before the pandemic. So think of it, think of everything as a normal school year. So in a normal school year, when I was living in Laker Hall, we did have visitation. Um, visitors, I think visitation was from 7 to 7 a.m. to 12 p. No, to 12 a.m. 7 a.m. to 12 a.m., I believe. Yes, I think that's correct. If I'm not mistaken, any freshmen watching this who go to Clayton State, let me know. Um, but again, when I was a freshman, I think visitation hours were from 7 a.m. to 12 a.m. So that's 7 in the morning to 12 midnight. Okay, uh, so anybody can check in or whatever. But I think the max amount at a time is two, if I'm not mistaken. So that was the amount. You could only check in two visitors, guests, or whatever. Okay, and when it comes to overnight, guests can spend the night. Um, I think only one, though. Yes, you go. Guests can spend the night, but they cannot spend the night for more than two days in a row. And you get six, a total of six overnight stays per semester. So one semester is August to December. You only have six overnight stays. That guests can over only stay over for a total of six nights, but only twice at a time. So say your guests wanted to spend the night twice in a row. Well, twice, yeah, twice in a row. That would be basically they have to come like three different times okay what i was trying to say here is if your guests wanted to stay three nights in a row they would have to leave and come back basically three different visits if you understand what i'm saying and say your guest wasn't staying over but your guest was there until 12 midnight that counts as an overnight stay whether your guest leaves at 12 30 1205 tomorrow morning it still counts as a overnight guests so if you have a guest and they don't plan on spending night, don't plan on staying over make sure they go on before midnight in the normal semester so yeah we got six overnight stays they cannot stay over for more than two days in a row so that's how it went and i think that's pretty decent because if you think about it, if you live in your mom house ain't nobody staying over because some people would complain about that we only get six and we have like six months honey Shouldn't nobody be staying over anyway. So that's visitation for Laker Hall, which is the freshman or first year students. Now, Laker Village. Laker Village, there's visitation rules and regulations, but to be honest, you get away with them. Because for Laker, oh wait, I forgot. For Laker Hall, you have a, um basically like a security, you know, the gate thingy, um, somewhere right there, so in order for them to get in i think you got they gotta have your name or something like that i cannot recall but just know it's a gate for like a hall and after 10 i think the gate is not open to the public so they will have to really like check in there and i think the only way they can get by is if they have someone name of who they're visiting or whatever i can't remember so don't really but it's something with that just know that now with liquor village we have four gates or five gates in Lincoln Village, right? Um, after at 10 p.m., all gates two through five closed are closed, and only gate one is open, which is the gate by the housing office. There's it's not monitored or anything. Anybody can come in, anybody can go out. It's basically like you're living in your own apartment, basically. Yeah, anybody can come in, anybody can come out. So. I meant to add that we do have 24 hours public safety police. There's no rules with with um guests or whatever. So that's that. Um yeah, so 
in Laker Village is really no rules. It, there are some rules, but there's no check-in policy. Uh, there's no check-in policy for Liquor Village when it comes to visitors or guests. You have a guest, you have a guest. Just make sure they park in the visitor or guest parking so they don't get a ticket. So that's it for Liquor Village. And that's with the pandemic too. Like We're not supposed to have guests, but some people may still have guests because there's no check-in policy or whatever. Um, now, roommates. Um, oh wait, back to Liquor Hall. I know it was like you know how everybody have their sport of you all in one room but if you have guests or visitors the max amount of people to be in that room is 12 so yeah okay now roommates um i i guess it's for like before you even get here like how do you choose a roommate so after you pay for your housing application or whatever um if you have a friend that someone you already know who's coming to clay and stay you do have an opportunity to room with that person but y'all just have to select y'all rooms at the same time and y'all really y'all need to pay at the same time as well so y'all both have the same um room selection date so yeah as long as y'all have the same room selection date y'all can choose get room together um so yeah and if you don't then hey you just selecting your room where you want to um was that as a freshman yes it was as a freshman so yeah that's how it goes it's really easy simple straight to the point um i did want to discuss what is included in housing i already talked about the difference between like a hall like village but i just wanted to say that um you do get cable in both like a hall and like a village um i guess that was the main question that people would have like water you know you know you have you have your own thermostat in your um room so y'all do control that in like a hall even though it's one huge building each room control their own thermostat same with like a village everyone controls their own thermostat um y'all have ceiling fans in like a village not like a hall um yeah i think that was everything that needed to be included oh wait the furniture is included because some people have that question about like a village i guess because it looks exactly like an apartment yes your furniture is included not tvs and everything but like your bed table dressers and all of that all of that is included um oh and you also do get a microwave and refrigerator out in that's for liquor hall and liquor village and that's out there you want to hear more about liquor hall and liquor village specifically go watch part one that i did talk about that in part one um, I did want to talk about parking. So, parking. During a regular semester, because we have a lot of commuters here at Clayton State, but not right now since all the classes are online. Well, majority of the classes are online except for labs, I believe. Um, parking, there's like no parking, basically. Um, getting a parking spot it's like a hassle like everybody people everybody complain about that that's like a huge complaint here at Clayton State so if you're trying to get to class on time if you live on campus first off just walk to your class because you probably will spend forever looking for a parking spot you may be late for class but if you're a commuter make sure you get here maybe 30 minutes before your class start if your class start at 2 30 be here at 2 o'clock or 1 45 um what is PBI? Oh, so because someone asked, was Clayton State an HBCU? My answer was no, but Clayton State, I believe, is now considered a uh, PBI, predominantly black institution. At first, it was a PWI, but there's a higher percentage of black people here. <laughs> yes, we are here. Um, so, yeah, I do think it's a good, a good ratio of everybody here, but... As for living on campus, it's, there's more black people living on campus, and yeah. So yeah, someone did ask that question. Um, oh, I did want to talk about, I think it's the last thing, textbooks. Um, so we do have a bookstore, and when it comes to financial aid, I'm going to make a separate video about financial aid. I don't want to make that about Clayton State specifically, because financial aid covers everything, well, all schools. Uh, so I want to say, with textbooks you do have to textbooks is not included in your, in your tuition someone tried to tell me that before I came to college I was like no it's not and I knew that for sure um but anyways yeah textbooks are not included in your tuition you do have to buy or rent your own textbooks 
um i suggest you of course just try to find out who's the cheapest amazon or um they have they have other places too that y'all can check online you know make sure you look at reviews but also our school does have a bookstore obviously and it's usually more pricey i would say only get your access access codes from the bookstore I mean, sometimes it is cheaper to rent a book at our school versus um, renting from Amazon, but always just do a price check. So I did want to touch on that. Textbooks are not included in tuition. I think that's at every school. I just wanted to put that out there. So make sure you um, always check online before buying at the bookstore or even, you know, just make sure you, yeah, just check online before buying at the bookstore and before buying online check at the bookstore you know price match um i did want to this could be for um, anywhere but i want to say uh use rate my professor when deciding what classes you need and sorry i was trying to say use rate my professors to decide which professor is best for you also make sure you ask your advisor don't be trying to make your own schedule and then you end up taking classes that you don't need so yeah uh, make sure you I mean I said make sure you ask your professor make sure you ask your advisors and keep up with um, degree works degree works is where you can see for your major you can see all of your classes that you need like you can see everything so keep up with degree works you get to the degree works you can get to anything by going to the swan first and just scrolling down and clicking on degree works so make sure you do um, keep up with that while you're in school so, um, I don't think I have anything else to cover about Clayton State. I think that is it. So, I think I'm going to do much more college videos or Clayton State videos because I think a lot of people need help and there's not a lot a lot of um, videos about Clayton State here. So, I will be doing it before I'm out of here. So, yeah, thank you all for watching and don't forget to hit the red button. Oh, wait, one other thing I did want to say, Clayton State are still doing tours. Um... I think so you do of course like you do have to you know um rsvp or however you sign up for a tour i never did tour the school i just came here <laughs> but you, they are still doing tours but only a certain amount at a time like only a certain number of people can be there because i remember running into someone who needed help so um yeah if you want a tour for clayton state um make sure you you know look online or call about that and also I was thinking about doing a tour of Clayton State, the campus. I'll think about that, but I think I'm, I think I'm, I might do it if I decide to. Y'all will see. Y'all will know. Just make sure you are subscribed to Clayton so you can stay updated and hit the bell. So again, thank you all for watching. Okay, so one other thing just came to me. Um, if you do not have a, your own laptop, computer, or whatever, um, printer. We don't have a computer lab. I know someone complained about that before. A lot when I talk to someone who transferred. We don't have a computer lab, but we have a library. Um, so you can use, oh, and we have something called Smart Print. Smart Print is, we do have something called Smart Print. Smart Print is located in Laker Hall, the UC, the library. Um, I know it's located in Magnolia Hall in Lakeview. So you do have the opportunity to use smart print and it's basically like you connect it's it can be I think it would be connected to your phone but I never used it for my phone but I use it for my laptop and you basically just hit print and you can go pick it up at any one of the smart prints and like you put in like a password so you know and you swipe your card you gotta put money on it you swipe your card your Laker ID card and the money printing money should be on there you go to the Laker card center for that and you put money on there and you can just swipe, put in your password, and print your paper. So um, that's how that goes. But I did want to say for those who don't have laptops or computers, you can rent a, a laptop at the library, I believe. So yeah, um, make sure you look into that. If you don't have a laptop, time you come here, um, you are allowed to rent one. I don't know how it goes about. Um, I don't know how it is about with COVID now. But even if you're not able to rent one right now from the library, you can go in the library and use the computers if you need to. So yeah, I did want to put that out there. So don't have a make a laptop being your reason not being able to go to the come to school or whatever. So I did want to say that.